the astrological forecast is looking pretty grim. <laughs> Whatever you're feeling, expect it to get intensified essentially in a nutshell for the next mm, <laughs> six months to a year, I guess. At least that's kind of what I'm hearing from different astrologers. I don't know what you're hearing. It kind of helps me to understand all this energy that I'm in. That it's not just, this is not just something that I'm experiencing as an individual on this planet. I decided today that I was crazy, I was just crazy enough to be sane, to buy into everything. I was crazy enough, I was just crazy enough to buy into it without, you know, owning it, right? Just having shares in it. And that, that, the current paradigm. <laughs> and so today I realized that this isn't just a me thing, this is a we thing. Everyone's experiencing this, regardless of whether the origin or the root is your work or it's whatever way money is for you, whatever root you get to it. And what that money really represents is your security, your sense of value, your sense of worth. That's all being threatened on every level for all of us. <laughs> so let's just show the cards on the table because that's what it is, right? So this isn't just a me thing. As much as I kind of like to believe sometimes it is, it's not. <laughs> well, like all of you, my life is just crumbling before my very eyes. All my hopes and dreams just seem to be whoosh, Smoke and mirror is vanishing. The illusion is starting to fall away. And then whatever's left, I don't know, is that truth? Is it reality? Is it just is what it is? I mean, is this what it is? Who cares, right? You can run that circle for days, months, years. And as I'm listening to this information, panic would like to propel me forward. Just do something, just anything, just do something, react. Triple Aries, I'm usually quite prone to that impulse. That's why I can initiate so many things, which is why sometimes there's too many plates being spun up in the air and a lot of them get dropped. Maybe it's a good thing this is all falling apart. For me, I don't know about you. And what I recognized just before I turned on the camera <laughs> is that in spite of the fact that it's depressing and it spins those old stories that I'm so familiar with and it's compressing that it's forcing it's forcing life to flow it's it's actually a support <laughs> it's like the compression stockings on my legs it's support through this difficult time And it really is about what is absolutely essential. The absolute essentials. Because I have chased so many things in life. I'm not the only one. You can pretend all you want, but you know, I'm not the only one. So while my initial thought is to start planning 
you know, forcing, right? Forcing things forward. I just keep getting this sensation to just be still. Every time I want to get up and do it's like depression falls down and says, no, 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 no. I'm, we're, we've gotten through that whole, I'm gonna kill you thing. I listened to that story and bargained. <laughs> Let's just see how tomorrow is, right? So that's behind us. So now it's just like depression says, just sit still, just sit here. And I'm like, well, what am I supposed to be and do in this moment? Just breathe. Living meditation, just breathe. You don't need to be sitting on a mat. You don't need to fly your plane to India or to some ashram or to some vipassana or to some yoga spa studio. Just sit where you are and breathe. I long to be in the woods, but everything is saying, just sit and be present and breathe. And it doesn't mean I don't do anything. I'm doing, what do you call these things? Jigsaw puzzle on my iPad and I'm listening. And in all of that, I'm taking all the information and the energy in. And instead of attaching to any particular thought or emotion, if you ever wanted to practice life and death meditation, now's the time to do it. And this is the process to do it. This is what I'm becoming aware of for me. Just breathe. Just breathe the energy in and breathe it out. Breathe the information in, observe it, and breathe it out. I don't have a freaking clue if it'll have any effect on anything or anyone else around me. That's not my intention. <laughs> my intention is to just feel safe and secure and grounded in my own body, in my own breath. Because when I'm safe and secure in my body and my breath, it's like I feel safe and secure everywhere. It's the strangest thing. So, I don't know how you guys are doing. I don't know, I, I just can tell you that I feel so much of that collective energy as a, for lack of a better word, psychic body. And it's overwhelming. It really is overwhelming. I know there's a certain portion that that's my stuff <laughs> from past and truth again, who and what does that belong to and who did that belong to before that and who and what will that belong to in the future because it wasn't even mine then. It, this is just stuff I am processing. This is how I'm processing. <laughs> it's not even mine. The only part that is mine is what's in this moment. <laughs> because what's done is done. That's, that's a shadow. And what's to come is the light. It's, you can't see it quite yet because it's so bright. There's not, there's no shadow to silhouette anything. It's just nothing but light, right? So it doesn't make sense why we have people on the planet that are on one spectrum of the darkness and another that are nothing but love and light. You know, it's the weird world that we live in is this kind of like a balance, a scale and the extremes and the, the majority in the middle kind of hold it all together. <laughs> so I think you need to be insane enough to be sane, but don't be so insane that you believe that this sane is all there is. <laughs> and this is about sitting still 
and just breathing it all in, receiving it all, and then just let go, don't attach. This is a living meditation. The moment is now. It's funny because I'm the so-called spiritual leader. Not. <laughs> and there was a part of me that didn't even see that this this isn't just a a physical deconstruction construction, so in a sense a war. <laughs> a war of the old against the new. It's also on that invisible. It's happening there as well. And I'm so acutely aware of that. So I guess maybe for those of you who have maybe meditated for long periods of time in your life or just suddenly you feel called to it, maybe that's why. It's like maybe we're the lungs of all this toxicity at this time is just to sit still, breathe it all in and let it go, purify it. It's not that we hold on to all that because, well, the body's not... let it go. The body doesn't hold on to it either. The body's not solid. So my first reaction is to panic and to jump for the next, create the next opportunity, you know, for what? Create and generate money. Okay, so I'm gonna spin like a dog with my tail in my mouth. You know what I'm talking about. Chasing in circle. But you literally got your tail in your mouth. It's fucking crazy making. <laughs> so don't be so insane as to fall into that. Just be insane enough to see the sanity of it or the insaneness of it, of what we call sane. <sighs> and may we all breathe through it. Because this too shall pass. <laughs>